This next story could be called Beauties and a Beast. There are the beauties of the Lutheran coronation on their float in the Battle Flowers Parade. But Eyewitness News reporter Sue Kalberg found out the group is the victim of a beastly theft. I know we have a lot of people praying about it. Their theme is a wrinkle in time, but what they've encountered is more like a monkey wrench. We're a small volunteer nonprofit organization, and, and that's a really big deal for us to try to, to recover from. When the volunteers of the Lutheran coronation showed up for the parade, they found the trailer they used to tote their float was missing stolen from a church parking lot downtown. This float is actually a chopped up old bus frame with a 1967 Chrysler engine. Great on the parade route, not so much on the open road. That's why they need the trailer back. It's pretty sad. It's really hard. The members of the Royal Court of the 20th Century are not amused. It was just chaos because it was already a chaotic morning. But as a royal member of royalty, would you say off with their heads? Not exactly. I mean, they could get a trailer somewhere else. <laughs> but if you had a scepter with you, would you issue a royal decree? Yes, I would. Do you wish you had regal powers about now? <laughs> yes, for sure. I wish that I could bring it back. You guys are Lutherans. Would you pray for them? Yes, for sure. And just please, just please bring it back. It would really mean a lot to us. We just, we want our float back. They do 17 parades all over Texas every year. So in case their prayers aren't answered, uh, we're looking to replace a 25 foot uh, vehicle trailer. So if anyone has a line on one, they can reach out to us. Sue Calberg, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News. Who steals a float? Well, at Ken's5.com, you'll find a link to the GoFundMe account. They started to raise money to buy new trailers so that they can be on the road to Corpus Christi by next weekend.